Hi, we're here with Gina Park. She's a product line manager at TI. And Gina is going to tell us a little bit about an application for DLP technology that's kind of interesting. It's in 3D printing. Gina, most people associate DLP chips with displays, but how would you use it for a 3D printer? Yes, actually, uh, if you know much about the DLP chip, it is an array of micro mirrors that can intelligently steer light. So in the case of a 3D printer, those mirrors are steering the light onto photosensitive resin. And so the fundamentals of a, a 3D printer architecture is the concept of um, inputting a 3D volumetric or point cloud data into a system. That software in the system will then slice that information into layers. What happens is each layer of information is sent to the DLP chip and as the um, DLP solution uh, will expose a full layer of light uh, one step at a time. It can be combined with uh, some microprocessing as well from Texas Instruments as well and motor drives as each layer incrementally moves up or down. So what you'll result with is a 3D model uh, of printed uh, one layer at a time using DLP technology. So the stereolithography to be clear. That's right, it's most commonly known in the stereolithography space. And uh, the part you have here is, um, it, I've seen finer parts, but that's not the point of this, correct? That's correct. Um, in general, if a customer were to use DLP technology to design a 3D printer, uh, they ultimately would, would result in a object that does has very fine accuracy as well as very smooth finishes and that's a result of the fact that we can do a whole um, shot exposure a full uh, area uh, at a time in the system um, what we have here though is is really a reference design so here at TI we want to make sure you have easy access to the technology from Texas Instruments by um, using the light crafter 4500 from DLP uh, the MSP 430 solutions um, from our microcontrollers group, as well as motor drives from TI. So we're helping give our customers the tools um, at their disposal so they could then design a 3D printer uh, with all the requirements that meet their design needs. That's great. That's an interesting application that, um, I, frankly, I would never have thought of. Yeah, uh, we, we are very excited uh, because, uh, again, the DLP chip is so versatile as a component that uh, in addition to display, it can, it can uh, do 3D printing, 3D machine vision, and spectroscopy. So there's a lot of unique uses for such a, a versatile semiconductor technology. Thanks, Gina. Thank you.